Gospel Minute from St. Michael's Orthodox Church in Geneva, New York. I'm Steve Toby. Today's Gospel is from St. Luke, chapter 11, verses 29 through 33. Let's say our prayer before reading today's Gospel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. O Lord, enlighten our hearts and minds that we may learn and understand your teachings and apply them to our lives. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. And now today's Gospel according to St. Luke. When the crowds were increasing, he began to say, This generation is an evil generation. It seeks a sign, but no sign shall be given to it except the sign of Jonah. For as Jonah became a sign to the men of Nineveh, so will the Son of Man be to this generation. The Queen of the South will arise at the judgment with the men of this generation and condemn them. For she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon. And behold, something greater than Solomon is here. The men of Nineveh will arise at the judgment with this generation and condemn it. For they repented at the preaching of Jonah. And behold, something greater than Jonah is here. No one, after lighting a lamp, puts it in a cellar or under a bushel, but on a stand, that those who enter may see the light. The Word of God. In today's Gospel, our Lord is asked for a sign that he is indeed a true prophet. But there is no sign for this evil generation except the sign of Jonah. As Jonah spent three days in the belly of the whale, our Lord would spend three days in the grave before rising from the dead. Our Lord mentions the Queen of the South here. He is speaking of the Queen of Sheba, who came to hear the wisdom and truth of Solomon. Those who seek the wisdom and truth of God's word will be raised with her at the last judgment. Again, we hear about lighting a lamp, the word of God, and placing it for all to see and be guided by it. Let the word of Christ illumine our hearts and minds, as in our opening prayer. Well, have a good day, everyone, and I'll see you again tomorrow. May God bless us all. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord.